We have managed to survive. And we will keep surviving. Welcome back, everyone. Drew Hawkins with again, and we're back playing End Zone, a world apart. So, welcome back, everybody. Last episode, we did a lot of planning stuff, almost exclusively planning and babbling on about game mechanics and whatnot. But today, we're going to be getting into things, picking up the pace. Oh, I see these have changed. Oh, no, no, no. That's just telling me that that's up from previous. There we go. Now it's faded out. So, it was just giving me an update how things were, were going in the day. So we've improved. So last time we planned out this beautiful city in the new fantastic planning mode. All we have so far is our bus wreck. And our, we might have just actually wandered there and just set that beast up. But anyways. Uh, and then we have the scrapyard built. We're working on... Oh, we finished. Just finished the logging camp. Now we can give them a few commands here. We can let them cut down trees and skip and jump and press wild flowers in the forester. Or, sorry, cut and reforce. Or we can tell them just to cut down the area. Or we can tell them just to reforest an area. So, later, when maybe we'll have some space over here or whatever. We'll have a forester who works over there. And then herb gatherers that get a bunch of medicine and, and do hunting and all that jazz. That's an option. Maybe down this way. Uh, but, in the future, that is. We're going to add a worker to the logging camp. That's all we're going to have for that. And then I want to actually switch things up here. I think we might have enough income to keep them going with that. I might take the settlers off this job. We got four of them on here. Uh, let's see. We got four settlers right now. Why do we have four settlers? Oh, because we have Megan. Right. Our new child has grown up. So we have enough to actually keep the four settlers and put a new scrap, a new collector for the wood and the scraps. So that's great. Uh, they are also collecting other things here. So we might actually get some medical herbs here. Maybe not. Because there is a collect, this collect everything actually lets them do more than, yeah, there we go. There's 50 herb in the area. There is 130 food, apparently. Really, that's cool. And there's some scrap and there's some wood. We'll let them keep going on that a little longer. We got our jetty built. Romantic times of the jetty pier. Meet you at the pier, baby. And then uh, we got the cistern that has begun its work project as well. Let's get, those, let the let time blast along and get them going on that. Uh, do remember that uh, all these dots here, there we go, there we go right there, hold on, let's look at that. That is a builder, confirmed. Builders do the roads, got it, I expected so. Lots of extra workload there, uh, we just got a new message, low water reserve. Ooh, it is terribly low. Alright, that's fine, we got the cistern ready. So, let's get, uh, like, four people working on that. Now, that's gonna mess with our, our settler mix, so I'm gonna drop the settler mix to probably two settlers, or three settlers and two builders. So better, better spend some time focusing. I'm going to go ahead immediately and get us a food supply. Let's do the fishery. No, let's do the hunter first. Let's activate the hunter next. Get us some food supply. A very basic food supply, but it'll be something. Meat's back on the menu and all that jazz. Now, the water in the cistern, you can see these people going crazy gathering water, right? They go bail it up with a bucket and run back. They're super, super exciting workload. Uh, we have a 90,000 limit on here. Is that excessive? Probably, but that's what the default is, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, we get notifications. Homeless shelters. Homeless settlers, sorry. Build a... Build additional housing for settlers. We'll get there. Hold on. We're working on this guy first. Let's say, build you first, and then we will activate these guys as well. All six of them, at whatever rate they can be built, is fine by me. So we got a lot of building work to be done here. Let them go. I want this food stock to hit about a thousand, and then we'll drop, or water rather, hit about a thousand, and then we'll drop it down to like one gatherer, see how that balances with these people. Maybe, oh, there's four of them on there. Maybe two after we hit the thousand mark. It'll be good. Just, just get us a bit of a buffer. Now, we're also shorting on the food. We're losing food fairly rapidly still. Oh, first house is in place. Who gets it? Joshua and Alessandra. And the, there are three kids. Apparently, they I don't know if they if they were those three. They're three kids, but we have four kids. Three of them can fit in here with the two adults. So, uh, we get two of the girls and a boy. i uh, sorry, two boys and a girl um, are in here. The baby's not. Oh, uh, Sylvia's still, uh, ba maybe babe in arms still. We'll go with that. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so, housing, we'll let housing get in there. That'll be great. Uh, what do we have? Okay, our hunter's ready. We're going to put uh, two hunters on there for now. Our water supply has almost reached its its zenith, its needed number. Uh, well keepers we don't have yet, but we will. 
Let's see, we are at, oh yes, yeah, we got three of the, now another one of the kids is up, is, is leveled up, so to speak. And Sylvia has now moved into the house. So basically, they make sure that the kids are in the first house possible. There's Megan with her new boy, Timo. Nice. She married an older man. Hey, it's the choices she had, right? Uh, Matteo and Catherine are in this house. Lovely. Alright, our water supply is well above what I wanted, so we'll drop those down to, you know, we'll drop that down to one for now. We'll put three people on the hunting to get that blasted out, out of the park. So, building seems to be going okay. We got not a lot of settlers going here. That's all right as well. I think what we'll do, we've got, um, get some hunting going so we start turning this number upwards. All right, now let's actually activate the fisheries as well. So, those houses are nearly finished. Is there anybody homeless still? Don't know if that's the case. Or these notifications just clear out or what or it stays there until they're everybody's got a house no idea we got there we go the last one's going in let's see if this one has two adults in it it does indeed hey Thaybolt, Thaybolt, and josephine and then we have this one which needs a little more scrap we do have a little bit of scrap i think this is this worked out okay we didn't actually go into a solid deficit on the food supply watch this number if it gets above 1200 we know we're still gathering faster than we're using. We can actually look at that by left left clicking, right clicking, no, it doesn't show that. Really, okay, I expected it would. Let's go here and go to production of food production. Where would be, is water on, I think, there it is. There's the water chart, okay. So processed, or pro processed, I guess, collected, whatever, consumed, consumed by settlers. Okay, yeah, versus industrial, so that's fine. Um, so we have a bunch that was collected for a while. We'll let we'll let this last four, fourth day go by, and then we'll look at it again in the morning and see what the next day, uh, next season, I guess, tells us. We have houses and shelters. I thought we had them all. Do we not have everybody in houses? Okay, I guess we got to open up another house. Let's go with uh, this one right here. I don't know how many houses we have to open up, but we're only going to open up houses as we need them. Uh, and later we'll have to build a shelter that gives sort of a, well, it, it's it's a little harder to have babies when you're living in a big group home. Or I guess it's not harder to have babies, that's a different concept. Let's uh, give a, let the builders get that done. Did we slow right down? We did. Something auto, uh, the, the warning maybe slowed everything down for us. Oh, there we go, we can sit, sort through. This person has no home. Or, who's that? Carolyn. Carolyn needs a... Carolyn needs a home. That was a really creepy look at her face. It looks like there was a little person peeking out behind. <laughs> creepy. All right, Carolyn now has a home. Solved. Problem solved. Location attractiveness. Ugh. Oh, those are negatives. Those are too close. Okay, well, I put them in negative attractiveness houses. Well, that sucks. Um, let's shut the negative attractiveness off and pretend it doesn't exist. Just kidding. Let's go do decorations and put in some of those. Let's say we put in a nice... Uh, um... I don't know. Let's put in a scrap totem right here. This is the welcome welcome to the industrial zone. Oh no, this is the big one. This is the big one that I can't do that. I lied. Let's put in uh that's metals. Can't do that. Yes I can. So we'll put that in, and then we'll put in a nice little hedge line along here. So we can see that this should have an effect on some housing. It doesn't show that. Okay, let's see. If we go in this mode, does it? Aha! There we go. Let's put in these hedges right along here. We'll just put in this beautiful hedge line here each of them getting a little boost and maybe this little shrubbery at the end I don't know see if Tom likes that one there we go it actually could have all been shrubbery eh? let's do that let's do this all as shrubs there we go drop that guy he's gonna be forever before he gets built anyways but we could even go with just a double line of shrubbery along here but for now, we'll just do this much. What does it take to build those? Anything? 25 wood apiece. Okay, so that is quite a chunk. But that'll make everybody happier, I think. Not sure how, what sort of range these have, but if we go into this mode, does it affect... Do these ones affect that? Yep, they will. Okay, so once these first shrubs go in place, we should have this fixed. Uh, I want... That, not there, I want that active right away, and that active right away, and that active right away. What do we got here? Um, upcoming drought. Okay, so the fishery that we just put in, 
needs a bunch of people working in it. The hunter needs to be dropped down to one. Hunters will still produce during the off time. We are not producing enough water. So what I'm going to do is actually activate this right away and tell this to be done first. Top priority, build this beast because this will produce even during a drought. Second thing we're going to do for this is we're going to look at our population. We have four settlers. Let's bring three of them up onto the into the water collecting. All right, so we'll get a lot of forestry going and a lot of uh, we'll push towards the forestry. Oh, there's a bit of weekly contaminated rain happening right now. Not great. Not ideal, but most of the people, except for, you know, the newborns and whatnot, will have some sort of... What's going on here? Oh, there we go. They had no food, and now they do. It's just the area, the work area, was not ideal. So I can change that with this button. Change field of area, of work. But most around, we'll see, like, see that highlighted these guys? Down... Some here. These guys ran up north. Okay, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll put over here for now and let them go at it. We did, we did have a bunch of hunters, so that's what happened there. Uh, and the fisheries, we've got four people in the fishery right now. Concerned about that, but here we go. We got our water well gatherer. Now, there's only one available. I can't up this number, so only one person will ever work here. So that'll limit its, uh, its effectiveness. But our water supply should go in. These guys will gather water, which then has to be moved to the cistern. It's a lovely cistern. It's just this... I'm not sure what it is. Basically a swimming pool. We basically made a metal swimming pool. It's lovely, isn't it? Wouldn't that just inspire you for to think of purity and cleanliness? Uh, the well will, however, produce uncontaminated water, which is awesome. Actually, if I can see, where's the where's the write up on that? Um, that's a water tower. That's why it's not telling me a well. A well produces water slowly and even even during a drought. A uh, short distance between wells reduce the efficiency. So I can't have too many too tight. But, so if I built, went to build another one, he was over here, it would say 80% efficiency. And that's for this one and the one beside it. If we get out of that circle, it'll be fine. So we can build them reasonably close. We could build another one over here, for instance, down one tile. So this would work maybe here. Yeah, that would be 100% efficiency if I put another well in there. Not a bad idea. We could do that. We could put another well in for planning purposes later. Uh, so that'll be out of range. So if we have two of those going, we should probably be able to produce enough water. Right now we're cranking it up pretty good. The food's going up. We got two more seasons before the drought hits, and we're still experiencing a little bit of rain issues, of uh, toxic rain issues. How's the wood supply going? Wood supply 140, 220, or 212 on the scraps. Now, I think we might have the population going forward. I really want to bolster this number a little bit more. If we get to, like, 3,000 before the drought, that would be really good. I think that would be really good. I hope that would be. But I'd like to put another person on the scraps and another person on the wood to start getting that those stockpiles boosted up so that we can then start putting some work into things like the, re the, the recyclers. First would, of course, be in here. Now, what are we doing for building? Are we still going on this? Are you, uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's why that, that, that person was highlighted, because they were building. There we go. We got enough wood. Lovely. Now what's our, our beautification? Oh, look. They're happy with this lovely place, because they've got some shrubberies. Tom, you're a great guy. All right, let's... Uh, what's the hotkey for these? I don't remember. I, I wish the hotkeys showed up. I really like the UI. That's the only complaint to have about the UI. When you mouse over something, it doesn't show you the hotkey to activate that button. That would be great. Like, building and tasks. If I hit B, it brings this up, right? That would be good if that if it did that. Limits. Maybe it's L. Nope. K. Nope. I don't know. J. Planning mode off. Oh, planning mode on. There we go. I'm learning things already. H. Highlight buildings in build mode on. Highlight buildings in build mode off. What does that mean? Highlight buildings in build mode off. Building repairs are disabled. Oh, no. I like buildings in build mode off. Hmm. Don't know what it does, so I'll leave it on. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we've got... Oh, there we go. Now we've hit, hit our limit. Our limit apparently is 2,000, not 90, because this building only holds 2,000. So I want to drop that down to uh, one worker there for now. We can shut the jetty off when... Well, we won't have to. The jetty will stop being useful when the drought happens. There we go. When uh, Off bantering about hotkeys, and I... 
wasn't paying attention. All right, next thing I want on is another scrap worker for sure. And uh, we are going to lose the fisherman, which can go into recycling and building things later. But hopefully we'll be able to get this going and maybe this going. Right now, what are they set to build? Cloth. Why is it set to cloth? Hmm. I don't want it set to cloth. I don't want them by default to be cloth. Is there a way to switch that? Ah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice new UI. Oh, I did not see that before. Okay. Metals, plastics, cloth. That was plastic spot. Okay, so we need three in order to get these all going, but that's three employees and using up the scrap. So, okay, building is going to be an issue. Actually, what I want to do is upgrade our our capital here, our capital. <laughs> upgrade to a mounted bus. Um, the bus is the heart of settlement. It can store most of the resources and provide more uh, capacity with each upgrade. As soon as the bus has been hitched in place. Uh, settlers can meet there to increase their confidence. Okay, that sounds good. Give them a bit, a bit of a bit of moral boost. Mind you, their confidence is wonderfully high right now. That's great. Uh, higher rate of reproduction. Newborn settlers will live slightly longer. Oh my goodness, that's great. High efficiency, higher efficiency. Newborn settlers will live longer. Higher speed of movement. Newborn settlers will live dis uh, distinctly longer. Oh my goodness. That, that last one gets a pep in their step. Let's uh, let's give them a upgrade. Definitely want their confidence to grow because that's fantastic. Health is high. Food, re food resources are growing. People are happy. That's lovely. What's our cap for our food? Uh, it's not that, actually. What is the inventory here? It's 26% full currently. So we got lots of time to go on that. So let's go ahead with that. Now, this task over here, I'm going to delete. Actually, can I switch its jobs? I, no, I can't switch it to a different task. Eh? I've got to just uh, delete the task and rebuild, I'm guessing. So let's give it a task to say gather herbs. Here we go. There's a nice herb gathering spot over there. So go ahead and gather. What's that? Well, that's the jobs they're doing right now? Maybe. Uh, gather some herb over there, shall we? Does that gather plants? Yeah, gather plants. So that'll give, get uh, herbs and, I guess, probably a bit of food. Uh, oncoming drought. Still this one, huh? No, there we go. We just popped over into season seven. All right, our food stock is legitimately totally full right now. So, uh, how are we doing on the food? Or sorry, our water stock. We're over cap because every bit of water is stored where it needs to be. That's a happy thing. I, I'm not going to complain about that. That's beautiful. Uh, logging is still coming in. What's the production rates here? Okay, that one. That's our uh, turnover statistics. All right. Current season four. Last season 18. Two season seasons ago 24 so okay not bad it fluctuates obviously a bit so 24 a season isn't stellar we definitely want that up but right now we got to put the people where they're needed most let's see we have a refinery built yes we do no we don't that's still under construction i apologize uh this one i want to go to metallics because metals are going to give us this thing first of all and then metals will give us uh, what else? No, no, but there goes our first recycler. It's going to be clothing. Oh, yes, we want to look into health stuff. So, resources. We want a tailor shop, an herbalist hut. Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. This is a gathering camp. Food from plants in the forest. Oh, yes, that sounds lovely. Can we tuck that in? Oh, we can too. Look at you. All right, and then I want a, uh, I was thinking of those differently. Technology, resources. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. All pause. We don't have enough protective clothing. I know, that's what I was just about to say. I was looking, you stole my thunder, Carolyn. Carolyn. Uh, many of our settlers are forced to move across the wastelands unprotected. We should boost our production of protective gear. Okay, so they tell us we're going to be, the, have a, this is basically a quest. Something's wrong. The people have requested something. A request, maybe not a quest. And then we can see they decline it, and we get a negative something to their happiness and all the rest. See, now they're getting, eh, less happy. Or we can do it. It usually makes them a little happier. Sometimes we'll get a couple extra resources. Very little, not like the tutorial levels. And uh, But it'll give us a timed mission to accomplish something. So let's say we're going to do it. we got to make the people happy. So there we go. I just got a quest to do exactly what we wanted. Ooh. I've activated carbon masks. That's pretty good. 
right now. Oh, we got some medicine. Nice. We got some herbs going. So the activated carbon masks are what they're we most of them are wearing right now. Uh, and they want some more. But what they want us to do first... Uh, oh, we have to produce two activated carbon masks. Okay, so we got a few steps to this then. The tailor shop. Now, is this going to affect negativity or happiness negatively? It is. Okay, so we don't want it jammed up in there too much. Let's bring it over this way, maybe? Tailor shop over there. That looks good. We might have enough another scrap yard in there at some point. Oh, this guy has unlimited resources, doesn't he? Uh, not quite. He's not really out of resources. We can shuffle his work area so we don't get snagged with running out of resources too quickly. For now. Uh, okay. Let's say we could go with just cutting. Let's do just cut and say uh, shuffle their location up a little so we trim the edges of what's, you know, near the town sort of thing. Actually, let's go like this. I want to trim out this stuff because we might work in that area. And I want to trim out this stuff because I think next season we'll put in some farming. We have a food supply, but longer term farming would be a great idea. And I'm thinking we'll start it over here. Maybe. All right, so those two shuffled around. Hunter's doing his huntiness. There's lots of food on the ground there. He can still get more when they meander through. Unfortunately, I'd like to be able to extend this. That'd be great. Because they have to, the animals migrate. So you put this down here, and the animals are like, nah, it's okay, I'll leave. And they'll walk over, like, here, and he won't be able to find them. It's a little, hmm, what's this? Hunt, capture, hunt, and, oh, right, because we can get pastures, and we have to actually capture the wild animals in the area. And the animals that we have access to are only, like, the boars and stuff. We can get pigs, because we saw them here. Uh, what else is there? I don't see any other animals readily available, but they're smart enough to hide. What's this? Don't know. Looking for looking for wily animals. Not seeing it. Maybe I'm not in the right mode. But anyways. Um, so he can actually capture them. Trank them, basically. And then the, he puts them in the pens. And the animals get to be raised as awesome members of the community. Let's jump that up to... Oh, these only run one person as a well. Just like the water wells. So we'll start on our first cloth. That's great. Now, an activated carbon mask is... That's a neck scarf. The activated carbon mask, I forget what the ingredients is for that one. Let's go ahead and make that happen right away. I don't think anything else is on the build queue, so we really don't need a lot of builders because we're trying to, trying to take it relatively slow pace with this. Let's go ahead and activate this. Not build next, I want that activated. You only have one item on the build next order. And that activated. That's good. I like this idea of this giant tree here. That'd be cool to like be able to leave it there, but it won't happen. Our woodcutters will chop it to bits at some point. There we go. Two people on the business. So one's doing... Oops, no. That's awkward. One's doing cloth. And one is doing metal. Lovely. Now, we we can swap them up as we need to. We can have two workers that do a lot of the work. Uh, but we'll get, what they're going to do is they're going to take the cloth here, which we will need. Uh, they'll take the cloth. Cloth can be removed from scrap. A recycler or refiner is needed to do this. Alternatively, cloth can be produced from hemp. Oh, really? This takes place at a hemp weaving mill. Cloth is used by a tailor to make protective clothing. Cool. So she, the, they're going to grab some... What's the recipe? One scrap, 0.17 season time, producing two cloth. There's the production now. He or she, I don't know who's working here, but we can find out because this is an amazing interface. Megan! Megan the Young. The firstborn of the new world. Um, Megan was born in the old world, but, you know, she's the first child to grow to adulthood in this beautiful new world. So we need to make a tailor shop. It's currently paused. We'll unpause that and let it be the first priority build. And, uh, we tell them we need... They've told us activated carbon masks. We need to produce two, and I guess they'll rally together to produce the rest. We're missing cloth, though, to build it. That's why this is making cloth. In fact, this guy can make cloth next run as well. Okay, you're actually currently making cloth because um, that was the job that was set when they when I released the building. That was the one that was given its first task. Now, if I click here, there should be another person. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you running off that way? What are you doing? You're a refiner now. Oh, you must have been. Uh, um, oh, look, builder badge. Those have been awarded predominant work in profession in the profession builder. Oh, good job. Good job, Joshua. Well done, lad. Now, I think he's going to go swap up because he just finished. He was doing something else. He was a builder before, and now he's 
a refiner. So what's he going to do? He's going to head down to his refinery. Lovely. And get started on his first project of building some cloth. How much do we have so far of cloth? Zero. Lovely. Oh, no, that's not true. We have zero unreserved cloth. That's up here. So it's in stock, we have six. Six of them have been reserved to be placed in here. So the builder should be running and grabbing it. There they go. Or plunk. And I bet you you've got a bunch of cloth. Look at it. Look at him. Stack of cloth in his hand. There he goes. Six cloth delivered. That easy, guys. That easy. All right. That'll give another two. That'll give another two. We have uh, four in reserve. Does it show how many is in stock? We get two in stock there. Okay. I see. Somebody may have stocked it somewhere else. There's the cloth going into the building. We're at eight. Now they only have to do the job one more time. There's two there and uh, Joshua, did you get around to you're off doing domestic things, huh? That's fine. I think we'll swap Joshua up to doing metalworks after this. So that should be enough there. We're at ten. All we need to do is deliver those last two. And we got surplus already. Excellent. So then we'll be able to get that done. Now, I think the carbon, by the sounds of it, the activated carbon mask is going to need another thing called the charcoal. So let's go ahead and get some charcoal going. Where can we put that? Probably would make sense to have that charcoal builder somewhere down here. We'll leave some space for more woodcutters if we want to do it that way. I don't know if that's the way to do it, but I'll put the, carbon, uh, the charcoal kiln down here. Sounds like a horrible idea to put it near, near the people. Yeah, that's a real nasty negative. Uh, they're at plus 11. If I put this guy here, they drop by 6 or go down to... No, they go down to... Six. They do not like... They do not like charcoal buildings nearby. Holy moly. So as these get built, we'll have to upgrade the beautification in the area. Because that was a little bit too tight of a build, honestly. Alright, let's get one or two of these people working here. Apparently only one because... Yes, we're over overly busy elsewhere. We went right through that drought and forgot to turn off the fishermen. Not great. Very bad, actually. I've been not watching things in the food supply and stuff. So let's bring down our fishermen to two, go with hunters to two, and uh, so that's now still four people instead of five working. We got one forester on, but it looks like we are running pretty aggressively short on the forestry stuff. So let's put another person in there for now. Our tailor, we got one working. Okay, we only need to make two activated masks. Let's see what the recipe is. So it needs two charcoal, we have none, and two um, masks, or two uh, cloth. We have some cloth being made. Uh, is there some assigned to something? Oh yes, I need to activate that building. Let's make that first. Scrap and wood, we should have enough for it. We're a little short on the wood supply. Quite short on the wood supply, actually. Wouldn't mind another worker in there. Let's drop one more builder off. Let the settlers have somebody. Yeah, see, this is where it happens. We start getting these real tight supplies. Now, we got enough scraps for now. I'm going to drop a scrap worker and let another person go on something else. Like what? What do we let them go on? We basically need to keep the population growing at this stage. And we did the upgrade. What's the next upgrade cost? Plastics and wood and electronics. Ah, town center is the heart. Upgrade to town center, yes. So it'll, it'll alter that entire thing. We'll leave it with the upgraded bus for now. We're still bringing in a positive food supply. Is there a way to, like, shift clicker? I wish this would activate something. I wish this would give me information. All right, tasks. We're working on it. And here, shelter. Settlers have no protective gear and homeless... Oh, homelessness. Okay, let's look at our homelessness problem right down here. And click that. One, two, three, four of them. Oh, not great, huh? All right, let's uh, activate this one next. Oh, sorry. Keep building. I didn't mean to prioritize. Activate that. I like that it tells you that. We're going to give uh, three houses the go-ahead, which means we're really short on wood supply. Really short on wood supply. I know we've got... We need more of this going on, right? Needs coal. We don't have that. Building is happening on the coal right now. What are we waiting on? Some wood and some scraps to be delivered. Okay. Hustle, hustle, boys. What do we got for uh, population capacity? Oh, four settlers. Really? We have 17 kids. Oh my goodness. It's boom time. No kidding we have extra housing. Okay, we're we're really boom time in it here. Okay, we're going to have to get a shelter going at some point that will allow us to not overpopulate. Because if we overpopulate before we can handle it, we'll have problems. Um, 
However, we are getting some good population growth here. So let's activate this other well right away. Let that get going. But the charcoal is priority. How close are we on the charcoal? We're waiting on scrap. Why? Probably because we don't have enough builders. Let's go with three of them. We got four settlers still. Uh, well workers, we only need one right now. Water supply is still over 2k, barely. And our food is slightly down. Alright, let's go ahead and build our first farm tile. Let's, where are we going to put that? I want, if I fit them in here, how far can these go? If I start, let's here and say, okay, somewhere in that point, like that tile, it's going to hit the wall. So we got, uh, let's see, from this road to when it is too far as 16 tiles. We could go, say, I mean, 16 is the longest you can do in any direction, I think. Um, we hit the wall there. It's not that we're there. Re 17 is too big. So 16 by 16 is the largest we can do. We don't need to do it that big, though. I found in the past that oversizing it doesn't really help. So if I want a road to go past on both sides or down the middle, we would need to leave that. So we need 14. So if I go 16 by 7, and then I have another 16 by 7... we got enough room to go down there. And then I need to select the farms. And uh, we got builders going there. Oh, we need to set the building, the food supply, or food choices, but we'll do that after it's built. All right, water supply is, what is this? Storage capacity in the building is running low. Yes, it is. We could upgrade to a tower that would need plastics and charcoal. Ah, there we go. Charcoal maker is ready. Let's go ahead and get that going. So charcoal is used for purification. Uh, coal is made from wood using char uh, the charcoal kiln. It can be used to water in the water tower to purify water to remove radiation. It's also used in other things like the masks. So let's get that going there. How's our workload right now? How's our time sitting at? We're at about the end of the episode today. So I think what we're going to do first is we're going to upgrade and let that build. We're going to add another charcoal builder for now. Okay, to get those going, we've got cloth actually coming in we've got metal stocking and i'm gonna go ahead and switch this metals guy to plastics for a bit we'll have to juggle those quite a lot to begin with wouldn't mind getting a food gatherer going because he can gather quite a lot from the forest so we'll let that happen as well we won't prioritize it but we'll let it happen so we got two farms coming online and a food gatherer for a food supply another well is just about completed actually it's now completed just unpaused so we'll put another well gatherer over there. So where does that leave us for water and food? One collector will collect from here as well as gather things from these two and bring it to the sister. Great. Uh, water supply should go back up now. Um, and then we've got our food supply. We have zero farmers, we have zero gatherers, but we have two fishermen and two hunters. We do have some population to work with and we have some good population growth right now. Do we still have uh, housing issues? We have 23 people with no... No supplies. Yikes. Got to get those activated masks done. How long do we have? 6.7 seasons left to, act to get those activated masks. That'll actually give us two that we make and five more. So that's great. We just have to get this first load of charcoal in. Once that happens, we'll have activated masks. And that's all I want the cloth used for, to be honest. Until we get everybody in activated masks. So maybe we actually... Mm, we'll see. We'll see how quickly these guys make this. It takes the same time as it does to make a cloth. And what does it use? Two. No, that's the production. And it uses two cloth. So this and a little about twice as long. No, another whatever, 50% longer. So this is slower with one builder than this will produce for cloth. We can produce cloth at about the same rate, a little quicker than we use it. Charcoal with two people is a little much, but we'll get them a little bump, and then we'll slow it down to one. Um, scrap really needs... Oh, look at that. He's... See, there's a problem. There's a big problem. We gotta watch those. Uh, he's used up all the scrap from that area. So we're gonna pop him over here, and he can start... He can start collecting this huge swath. Uh, yeah, not quite as huge. That right there would be great. What's all that? Oh, this is the housing, yeah. Oof. People without housing. Don't tell me. It's horrible. Um, I like that that indicates. That is really cool. So we got a ton of people... That ha not housing, sorry. No clothing. They don't have any problem with housing. We've got enough people for the houses, yet some people not working. I love that it shows their work, what they're doing. 
Ah, so good. If I deactivate that, does this indicate the owners? No, it doesn't. If I click there, it will. There we go. Oh, look at that. Such a great mechanic. Hope you guys are enjoying things. Please do let me know in the comments. We got lots going. We got more food. We got more water coming online. And uh, we're slowly working up the tech to be able to produce the basic needs for them. Problem is, if I let the population grow too aggressively, we'll be spending all our time doing that and not tech up, and then it'll cascade out of, out of control. So there's got to be a point where we start to slow the population to match things like actually teching up with research and whatnot, which pulls people out of the survival mode and into into thriving mode. So thank you everybody for joining me. If you do like things, please, and you want to see more of this, please hit the like button. You subscribe if you want to, totally up to you, not my not my take, but if you want to help grow the channel and you want to help support us, hit that like button. If you want to do a little more, there is options down below for all the, the, the financial support stuff. Do that if you'd like. Uh, but thank you everybody for joining us for this and uh, appreciate your support. I really like the comments and I do respond to everything in the comments or I, I read every comment, I should say. Some of them are, uh, don't need a response. Uh, but anyways, appreciate it. Thank you so much for your tips and tricks and feedback in the comments. Feel free to let us know so others can read it as well. But I love having you here, and this game is a great one. I really, really love it, and I'm glad it's finally out in a fully fleshed out and still growing and improving state. We're going to get into a lot more fun going forward. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. We'll see you in game.